In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we spend this time with the Lord, as we begin a new day, let us ask the Lord to give us all the graces that we may require for this day. Today may be a day where we may have to face a lot of challenges. There may be some unfinished work which needs to be completed. And for all this, we need the grace of the Lord. We need strength. We need confidence. And therefore, Lord, as we spend this time with you, we ask you to give us the graces that we require. Also give us the patience that we may need so that whatever task we do today, it may be done according to your will. You always have a plan for us and everything, whatever happens, is according to your plan. Lord, today help us to realize the plan that you have for us. My dear friends, on many occasions, we forget to thank the Lord for all the things that he does for us. Sometimes it could be because we are caught up with our activities because of our busy schedule. On other occasions, it could be because we do not recognize the Lord working in our lives through these activities. And therefore today, as we begin today's morning prayer, let us begin on this note by asking the Lord, Lord, help us to see your works, to see your hand in the various activities of our lives. And therefore, let us begin by thanking the Lord for all the graces that we have received right from the time of our birth till now and for all the graces that we will continue to receive in the future. Lord, first and foremost, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for all the talents, the abilities that you have given us. And we thank you for molding us, being there with us at every step of the way. Lord, we also pray for all those who have become very much part and parcel of our life. We pray for our friends, family members, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that bless them at every step of the way. They have guided us. They have made us who we are. It is because of their hard work, their time and dedication that we have become who we are. And therefore, Lord, we ask you to bless all their endeavors and give them the graces that they may require. Lord, we also thank you for all the activities that have gone by, for guiding us, for protecting us. Most importantly, we thank you for the gift of this day, a day that may have its challenges. And therefore, Lord, we ask you to be with us, to guide us and to protect us. Lord, we also ask you that you be with us at every step of the way. Lord, we thank you for giving us the experiences in life. There may have been many experiences which may have been good, which we may want to cherish. But there may also be those experiences which may be very hard. But these experiences have taught us a lot in life. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for these good and not so good experiences. Lord, we thank you for every opportunity that you have given us to make use of our talents, to make use of our gifts, not only for ourselves, but also for the betterment of others. And therefore, Lord, as we offer you this day, we ask that you may be present in whatever we do, in all our endeavors. And my dear friends, let us now close our eyes at this moment. And let us praise the Lord for giving us the gift of another day. 
He has woken us up this morning. He has given us good health. He has kept us in His love. At every moment, His gaze is upon us. Our Lord never abandons us. He loves us. He is there to guide and protect us. And for all this, Lord, we thank you. We praise you and we glorify you. And my dear friends, let this day be a day of joy and blessings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today we shall reflect on Psalm 61. And as usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm and then we shall go into the details of the psalm. Now, Psalm 61 is a psalm of David expressing his cry for help and his trust in God's refuge and protection. And therefore, in a way, Psalm 61 can be divided into three main sections. The first section will include a plea for God's attention and assistance. And this we can find in verses 1 to 2. Now, in verses 3 to 4, we will find a declaration of trust in God's shelter and faithfulness. And then finally, in verses 5 to 8, we see that there is a vow to praise God and fulfill vows in the presence of the Lord. And therefore, we see that verse 1 begins, Hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. And therefore, in this opening verse, we see that David earnestly calls out to God, seeking his attention and imploring him to listen to his cry for help. And now we'll see that this will set the tone for the psalm as a heartfelt plea for God's protection. Now, in verse 2, we see that it begins, From the end of the earth I will cry to you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Here we see that David expresses his desperation and he acknowledges the fact that his overwhelmed heart is something that needs attention. Now, he recognizes his needs for God's guidance and therefore he asks to be led to the rock symbolizing a place of safety and security. And therefore, when he considers this whole scenario of the rock, he considers the rock to be a place or a situation that is higher and stronger than his current situation. So therefore, the rock becomes a kind of a shelter, a kind of a protection for him. Now, in our day-to-day -day lives, we also will realize that when things do not go according to plan, we also need some kind of refuge. We need something that will be there to give us confidence, to guide us. And similarly here, the Lord becomes the rock for David. Now in verses 3 to 4, we see, For you have been a shelter for me, a strong tower from my enemy. I will abide in your tabernacle forever. I will trust in the shelter of your wings. And we see that here David reflects on his past experience of finding refuge and protection in God. He therefore describes God as a shelter, a strong tower, and the one who provides a safe place under his wings. Now David affirms his commitment to dwell in God's presence forever and to place his trust in his protective care. Now in verses 5 to 6, we see, For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. You will prolong the king's life, his years as many generations. And here David expresses his gratitude and his confidence in God's faithfulness. He acknowledges that God has heard his vows and has granted him a share in the heritage of those who fear God's name. Therefore, David believes that God will extend his life 
and bless him with long lasting kingship and then finally in verses 7 to 8 he shall abide before god forever o prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him so i will sing praise to your name forever for i may daily dwell and perform my vows here david concludes the psalm with a declaration of his intention to please god continually to sing praises to god and to fulfill his vows here we see that he expresses his desire for god to prepare his journey therefore he expresses his desire to be seen in the mercy of the lord and therefore here he emphasizes on the qualities of the lord that the lord is merciful that the lord is kind and therefore he calls upon the lord to be there to sustain him to help him in these moments of trials and therefore my dear friends overall we see that psalm 61 showcases david's heartfelt cry for god's help and his unwavering trust in god's refuge and faithfulness it highlights a theme of seeking shelter and protection in god especially during moments of distress and therefore the psalm encourages a posture of praise and commitment to fulfilling vows in response to god's intervention and steadfast love and therefore my dear friends having reflected on this psalm let us spend a few moments in silence let us allow the psalm to take root in us so that whatever we may have gained it may be a verse or a thought that touched us that may have got our attention let us remain with that verse let us remain with that thought and therefore allow the lord to lead you let the psalm become part of you so as you spend a few moments in silence remain with this thought remain with this verse and therefore let the psalm become part of you so that together your actions may reveal the love praise and joy of the lord Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with with the holy sacrifice of the mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins for the intentions of all my relatives and friends and in particular for the intentions of the holy father amen let us together pray for the intentions of the holy father for the month of July, for a Eucharistic life. We pray that Catholics 
may place the celebration of the Eucharist at the heart of their lives, transforming human relationships in a very deep way and opening to the encounter with God and all their brothers and sisters. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of Thy grace, to sin no more, and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, 
Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends 
without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us 
Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Holy Mary pray for us Holy Mother of God pray for us Holy Virgin of virgins pray for us Mother of Christ pray for us Mother of the Church pray for us Mother of mercy pray for us Mother of divine grace pray for us Mother of hope pray for us Mother most pure pray for us Mother most chaste pray for us Mother inviolate pray for us Mother undefiled pray for us Mother most amiable pray for us Mother admirable pray for us Mother of good counsel pray for us Mother of our creator pray for us Mother of our savior pray for us Virgin most prudent pray for us Virgin most venerable pray for us Virgin most renowned pray for us Virgin most powerful pray for us Virgin most merciful pray for us Virgin most faithful pray for us Mirror of justice pray for us Seat of wisdom pray for us Cause of our joy pray for us Spiritual vessel pray for us Vessel of honor pray for us Singular vessel of devotion pray for us Mystical rose pray for us Ta of David pray for us Ta of ivory pray for us House of gold pray for us Ark of the covenant pray for us Gate of heaven pray for us Morning star pray for us Health of the sick pray for us Refuge of sinners pray for us Solace of migrants pray for us Comfort of the afflicted pray for us Help of Christians pray for us Queen of angels pray for us Queen of patriarchs pray for us Queen of prophets pray for us Queen of apostles pray for us Queen of martyrs pray for us Queen of confessors pray for us Queen of virgins pray for us Queen of all saints pray for us Queen conceived without original sin pray for us Queen assumed into heaven pray for us Queen of the most holy rosary pray for us Queen of families pray for us Queen of peace pray for us Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world spare us O Lord Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world 
graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of of the heavenly host by the power of God thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy O Sacrament Divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.